It's your boy Raj Smooth. Thanks for checking out Europe TV and we're back here guys. Gonna finish up this catch and cook. So what we got here, let's see. We got some guana. Alright, this is obviously the bigger one right here. That's his, shh, let's see, let's, let's take a look at this meat guys. So this meat has been marinating for like two hours I would say in this uh, mojo and salt. So this is, the, this is the big guy right here. This is his thighs right here, guys. And remember when I was taking the skin off, the meat feels kind of tough. I remember like taking the skin off, the skin was mad hard to get off compared to the smaller one. But yeah, this is the, this is the big guy right here. So that's his, that's his two forearms, that's his thighs, and this is the tail portion right here, which I do not know how to get the skin off, but I'm just gonna just char it up and uh, you know just take the skin off and just eat it, see how that meat is. But that's the big one, let's see the small one. So this is the small one right here. Obviously he's more greener, more vibrant. Let's see the meat. Ah, okay, okay. So the meat definitely seems a little bit soft, uh, softer. That's the comparison right there, check that out. Let's see his little, that's his little uh, shoulders right there. And that's his little tail. So that's the little one, that's the big one. Now we finna get these two guys on this thing right here. So the moment y'all been waiting for, this is the cleaner side of the grill, so we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff on there. Okay. The grill is about, I would say about at least 200 degrees right now. And we're gonna lower the heat. It's a small one. There goes the big one right there. That's the small thighs. Oh shoot, it smells good already. Woo! And that's good, because I'm hungry right now, so. I've been catching this guy, I've been doing some deals, been doing a little playing a little basketball, working out, you know, try to stay on my P's and Q's, and now it's time to eat good. So I'm looking forward to this. The tail, uh, we're just gonna put the tail on there. And we'll just, we'll just see how that goes. Yerp! So I'm just checking out on these uh, iguanas. This is gonna be my first flip, let's see. Okay, I don't look too bad. I'm thinking if I should put the heat on. No, actually it's cooking nice like that. So this is the big boy right here. I'm gonna make sure these are cooked all the way through, but this is so far looking pretty good. I'm not even lying, it's looking like chicken, for real. I wonder how it tastes. Let's see. That looks good, man. Okay. So I'm just finishing on these last two big pieces right here. These are the thighs of the big boy. And uh, iguana is a different kind of meat, guys. It's like, it tastes like chicken, but it's a lot more stiffer. So it's kind of like chicken jerky. It has a really good flavor. The meat on the, the flavor of the meat tastes really good. It's mild, it is, uh, has a good like clean flavor. It just tastes really nice. Anyways guys, this is the tail right here. Remember how I left the, tail, uh, the skin on the tail? Look, so the skin is kind of like blistering up and this one, the skin bursted right there. So if you look at the filet, look at the filet of that tail right there. It looks very similar to fish, guys. All right, so we took the iguana off the grill. This right here is the thigh of the small one. That's the thigh of the small one. And we're gonna go ahead and give a taste real quick um, and see how it tastes. Okay, as you see, it's cooked all the way through. It's great chicken. <laughs> I'm eating it right now. It tastes like, legit, it tastes like chicken wing, but not as greasy though. And it, it took the mojo seasoning perfectly. Well, it tastes very mojo-y and grilled, kind of like pollo. <laughs> Tropical. Shout out to pollo, by the way. Y'all be keeping a nigga full and shit. But this is it. I mean, it tastes pretty good though. It's got two bones, like forearm bones, just like a chicken wing, just like how a wing does. This is freaking delicious, guys. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys are liking this video. This iguana, um, you know, leave some comments for some new recipes. Uh, next time I cook a iguana, I think I'm gonna try it like stewed style to get it nice and tender. I think that'll be better, but right now I'm definitely enjoying this iguana jerky. It's delicious. All right, so here's the last bit of him right here. Look at that white white meat and if I can compare eating this the flavor of it I'll compare it to eating chicken mixed with conch texturally and flavorly it's like chicken mixed with conch very lean very sweet has a good texture juicy and honestly this is probably like one of the best underrated meats out there like it's like eating conch which I love it's like eating chicken with what I love and I'm having it right here with a side of guacamole. No carbs, just proteins and fats. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. 
Don't stop doing what you love. You know you only live once. So on that tip, you're...